Going on everybody, Nick Hamilton here from Staples Center where we witnessed an epic fight between Earl Spence Jr. and Sean Showtime Porter. Now, the fight was scheduled for 12 rounds and boy did it give us 12 rounds of pure action from round one to round 12. We saw a knockdown in round 11. which And yes, Earl Spence Jr. did win by decision. Now, we also had a chance to speak with them post-fight and they were not short of fireworks before both fighters left the podium make sure you stay tuned and check it out because you definitely don't want to miss this yeah, whole lot of me to you know start out boxing from the outside i think that that was working and then um you know he said you know take take advantage when you you know when he's close to the ropes things like that so i think uh the fight played out i would say about 99 percent the way we expected it to wanted it to um i think the skills are a little bit better than you thought they was what you think yeah, I think yeah. 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 I said he has a lot of heart, and he always comes to fight. He's a true warrior, and you know he came back swinging. So you know I didn't expect nothing less for him just to stand his ground and try to fight back after I heard him and he uh, scored the knockdown. Another question for you is: He's Sean seemed like his game plan was just to try to make that fight for 12 rounds in your chest and not allow you to use your length and your your size advantage. Uh, is that what you felt like was happening, and were you? trying to use your, your length and your jab and just got sucked into that kind of battle? Or, or explain how that played out in your mind. Um, no, I'm, I'm a nasty aggressive fighter, I think. You know, the Mikey Garcia fight I showed, you know, like the box and things like that, but usually my fights, you know, I'm moving forward and I'm stepping forward. And, um, you know, Sean, he's awkward like that. He's a guy that's awkward. You know, like I say, he try to make him comfortable in the ring. So a lot of times I feel like I'm a good inside fighter. So. You know, the fight happened in the inside, and I felt like I did very well fighting in the inside. We're talking about what you said. Yeah. You didn't promote nothing. I was promoting at the Cowboys Stadium and things like that. You oh, weren't doing nothing. Cleveland Browns didn't invite you out to the Cleveland Browns didn't invite you out to the You did. You played the baby. You from Cleveland. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. You a man with no land. You a man with no land. Let me say this. Let me say this. You got your car, and you drove to Cleveland. Hold on. Let me say this. Let me say this. You got your car, and you drove. To the Cowboys State. Doesn't matter. I hold up, hold up. Let me say this though. I flew from DC to New York. I did sweat. I did the Browns versus the, the Jets. Okay. I came out here. Look, listen. At one o'clock in the afternoon, I'm texting everybody. Andrew Iguodala, Andre Iguodala, uh, Omar, Omar I'm Williams. Williams. He's right over there with me right so now. What part you are you? What part are you? Oh, 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 Martin Lawrence was in the stands. Bobby Brown was in the stands. For me, Bobby Brown came out back the room. So, who, so, so when you fight at this, so when you fight at this, what is, where are you gonna fight at this? My, my point is, where are you gonna fight at this? You're not gonna be on pay per view. My point is, you're not gonna be at pay per view. I bet my next fight will pay per view. I bet my next fight will pay per view. It's supposed to be. That's the next step. Okay. The only reason you're on pay per view because you fight me. So, you will not, you will not be fighting on pay per view for me. You can't even set out an arena. What arena can you set out by yourself? What arena can you set out by yourself? I just told you, baby. I just told you. What arena can you set out by yourself? Who can you text to tell them to come to the front? Who can you text to tell them to tell them to come to the front? Unified champion. Nobody. Unified champion. You don't got the juice. He's got some orange juice right there. That's it. That's about it. You need to take out that green jacket because I just took your milk. It's fine, baby. It's fine. Hey, hey, you took the belt, but I'm still me, baby. You took the belt, but I'm still me. And then you lost. And then I'm gonna have you up there, Rashid. Now get your boy Pat.